I just want to get this in because I was having an issue with it being true um, actually on the motor. So what I've done is I've taken it off the motor. Okay. And we've <coughs> get this in because I'm wearing my gloves. And we can see just if I can hold it still, and I probably might be able to because I can just put it against there. You'd have very, very great difficulty in seeing it being. It is just a slight outness. I mean, we're talking microns here. Okay. Right, when I'm turning it. So I've got the plate sorted now. Okay. But not only that, it's a balanced thing. So if I actually wind this in. Right, first of all, I'll wind it right in. Just change hands with the phone up there and press the buttons. Yep. Have we got? No. So I'll wind it in so that it <coughs> keeps the shaft straight. That's full. About there will do. Mm, okay. Now what I've done is I've geared up my lathe to its maximum speed, which is pretty fast. I don't know what speed it is, but it's not going to be slow. Okay. And so I can... Right. Now, that obviously <coughs> isn't slow. And so there's the gearbox running, and there's the gear running, and uh, I'm looking at it myself. There's no, I can't see any movement there. Right. No oh, cap. This is as if it's stationary. Okay, <clears throat> now what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo this off the end, the clamp, <clears throat> and I should have really done this before but I just didn't, right, and then just place it so that it's just kind of covering the end so that the shaft is free to wobble, right, but it will stop it from, you know, going too far. Now what happens is, is because, <laughs> let me just grab this pair. Because the shaft is out of balance, you do get a wobble, and it kind of resonates, and then it disappears when you go up to a certain RPM, which is the maximum of the lathe. And so you'll see it. There we go. So now, I could actually retract that ring, and it'd be okay. You see? Because it's, it's not touching. It is a little bit wobbling. Right? And you can hear it sort of banging every so often, right? But generally speaking, the net force, what I'm trying to discover is the net force on that to the generator. Certainly when the generator's clamping it, it's not going to have any net force. I'm just trying to see how out of balance the shaft is. And it's obviously a little bit, you see it do it now, if I can get it in the left camera maybe. There you go, that little rattle there. It's just as it's slowing down. Right. And if I could have a bigger collar around it, then I'll probably allow it and see how far, see if it actually does when it's spinning up. Okay. Now, as far as I'm concerned, that's that's good. And that's as good as we're going to get. I don't know what the RPM of that was, but we're talking two or 3,000 RPM easy. Okay. And, uh, yeah, and I've clamped the gear and everything just to make sure. And it's all good, I think. So I think we're actually in good spirit. We're in good now. So what I can do is very carefully now dismantle that, so as not to rebend the plate, <laughs> and then we can reconstruct it onto the motor, the engine. I still wouldn't want to run it with it on the engine and without the generator attached. But I think we're on a we're on a roll here. So okay, right. I'm going to try and do this with my nose. <laughs> 